Hey y'all, welcome back. So today I was supposed to be doing a Cabo turn. I just got back from vacation with my family two days ago and I still haven't unpacked or anything. I just hung out with my friends like all weekend. And I got home last night and I was like, I just really do not want to work this Cabo turn tomorrow. So I put it on the ETB and it wasn't dropping, wasn't dropping, which was crazy because I've dropped a ton of trips this month and everything dropped like that. I woke up this morning and I was like getting ready. I was like, okay, I came to terms with the fact that I was going to have to work this Cabo turn. So I started getting ready and then like not at the last minute the sign-in time wasn't until like 1 30 p.m but it was like probably like 9 30 a.m and someone picked it up so i was like all right now i just have the day to kind of just like get my life together i still haven't unpacked from vacation and everything and my apartment's a mess i don't have any groceries all that kind of stuff so i'm just going oh my hands i got a spray tan and my hands are like in shades darker than my face. I was also supposed to have a an LA turn tomorrow and I dropped it too but I dropped that one because it was position three and it was just there was like a three hour sit in LA and I was like I can probably find something better than that if I want to work tomorrow but then after tomorrow I'm going back on reserve. So we'll see how that goes. I feel like next month is going to be crazy just because of summer flying and everything kind of getting back to normal life which is great but I feel like it's going to be a crazy reserve month. Okay so I got several new things to try from Trader Joe's. I was feeling adventurous today. First of all I got this giant thing of blueberries. It's two pounds, two pounds of blueberries. The guy at the checkout was like, are you making a pie or something? And I was like, no, I just really love blueberries. And then I got this chicken salad. I really like the other chicken salad that I always get from Trader Joe's. Um, I've never seen this one before actually, but I'm excited to try this one. And I got these um, pretzel chips to go with that. And I thought this was such a nice size bag too. Like I can throw that in my cooler if I get called on a trip this week. And I also saw these shaved Brussels sprouts on someone's YouTube video. She did a recipe using these. So I think I'm gonna try that out this week, maybe tonight. Um, and then also, I've never seen this before either, but I saw a flight attendant using this. It's just cold brew coffee. So I thought it would be nice for traveling if it's good. So you just use a little bit of this and then some water and then throw some ice in there and you've got yourself a little iced coffee. Okay, so a couple things from Amazon just came in the mail. Let's see what they are. It's kind of clear enough outside. Oh, I've been wanting one of these for a long time. One of these little portable fans. I see YouTubers, like beauty makeup YouTubers doing, um, like setting their makeup with these. That is powerful. I'm impressed. I guess it's recharge. Yeah, it's rechargeable. So you just charge this little thing and you have like a portable little fan. So I saw this on um, someone's Amazon favorites video. It's like a travel shoe organizer. So you can fit like, I think it was like three or four pairs of shoes in this little thing. Oh, and it's got a little handle on the top too. I can fit. Probably like four or five pairs of shoes in here. This is a lot of space. I feel like it'll be good to travel with something like this when I'm working. Maybe not when I'm like traveling on my own because I don't travel with a lot of shoes. But you know, when I'm working, I have you know my heels and my in flight shoes and tennis shoes and sandals. And especially if it's like a longer trip, then I do have a lot of shoes. I also got a few different colors in these tank tops. They weren't cheap, but I think that their quality is really good. So I got a black one and I got like a nude color one, just a little plain, simple black tank for summer. And I love the high neckline on these. I also got this nude color. So just a couple of simple summer tanks. I have such a mess going on in my kitchen right now. I still, need to finish unpacking. All right, good afternoon. It is the next day now. It's about 1.45 p.m. and I'm going back on reserve tomorrow. So we'll see in a little bit what I get for tomorrow. It's been so ugly and gloomy all day, but it's kind of 
clearing up now. The sun's kind of coming out a little bit, so I'm going up to White Rock Lake to go for a walk. I haven't been up here in forever. I'm wearing that Amazon shirt that I got yesterday, and I really love it. It's so comfortable. Okay, so I made a very expensive, to me, purchase. I got AirPods. I never thought that I would purchase AirPods. Here's the thing. I used to have a pair of AirPod dupes that I got from Amazon and I think they were like 30 bucks and they were great and everything but the battery just doesn't stay charged very long. They die so fast and I would be using them when I was traveling and stuff like that and they would just die so fast. So I bit the bullet and bought some real AirPods. This will be my first time using them actually. So we'll see if these do better than the dupes that I have. I'm gonna listen to an audiobook. I've been loving listening to audiobooks lately. I've always loved listening to podcasts, but I just recently have gotten into audiobooks on Audible. And I wanna thank Audible for sponsoring part of today's video. Audible is an audiobook service, so they have tons of different audiobooks that you can listen to on lots of different subjects. They have podcasts, they also have like fitness and sleep meditation guided things. So every month, Audible members members get one free audiobook and access to the full plus catalog which has select audiobooks different podcasts and tons of other things that you can listen to you can download podcasts audiobooks whatever it is that you want to listen to you can download it on your phone tablet whatever device you have and you can listen anywhere I normally like to listen to audiobooks when I go for walks but sometimes I'll listen when I'm driving or cleaning my house or whatever and if you just want to try it out they will let you go through a 30-day free trial, which is awesome. So if you want to try Audible, you can visit audible.com slash Casey Cassidy, or you can text Casey Cassidy to 500-500. Normally I like to listen to like motivational, not like self-help kind of things, but like motivational type stuff. Like that's what I normally listen to with podcasts and stuff like that, or just like podcasts that like teach me something kind of, but I'm going to switch it up and I'm going to try a different book today. I saw that they have the book You on Audible, so I think I'm going to listen to that. It's like a, it was a, it was a Netflix show and I really liked the first season, so we're going to see if I like listening to it. Okay, so I got my reserve assignment for tomorrow and I got Rap A. So I'm gonna be on call from 2 a.m. to 2 p.m. And I also checked the list to see where I was at and I am very close to the top. So I feel like I'm probably gonna get a trip tomorrow. Okay, so I have a huge zit on my chin. So I have one of my little pimple patches on it right now. But we still have to wear masks on the plane anyway, so nobody's gonna see. So I did get called today. I just got a Nashville turn, which is super easy. We're just going to Nashville and back. The only thing that I don't like is that I'm the number three. I hate being the number three. So it is about 12.15 now. My report time isn't until 1.40 p.m., which is nice. I'm glad that I didn't get called super early in the morning. And then I think we're supposed to get home around like 8 p.m. So it should be a super easy day. Also, the in-flight service is back as of today or yesterday. So it'll be interesting to see how that goes because we're still wearing masks, so. I'm just gonna have to have a lot of patience because it's already hard to hear people in the air, you know, when you're flying in a metal tube, 500 miles an hour. I feel like I'm gonna mess up a lot of people's drinks. I don't mind doing the service again. Like I'm kind of excited to start doing the service again just because it makes the time go by so much faster. And I hate it for passengers that, you know, they would be on a flight and wouldn't, you know, get any service, any kind of drink service or anything. So I do wish that the mask mandate would have gone away before the in-flight service came back. The CDC came out and said that if you're vaccinated, you don't need to wear a mask at all anymore. Um, but before that, like a week before, I feel like TSA came out with the mask man mandate extended until September. So that kind of stinks, but I feel like maybe after September, we won't have to wear the masks anymore and things will be a lot more normal.
it's about 8 p.m. I'm on my way home. That was a super easy turn. Good crew, the in-flight service went great. Just a good old easy day. And tomorrow I'm on wrap C, so I'm not on call until 10 a.m. So I'm on call at 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. And I think I'm pretty far down the list tomorrow, so I don't think I'll get called, but you never know. It is a beautiful sunset tonight. It was prettier on the drive home, but it's still pretty. 